Hey guys, welcome back to a Terraria Infinite Health Cheat Engine part. This is part two. I'm going to show you instead of having to freeze this number here, we can write a script to make it not minus health at all. So instead of just minusing our health and then writing back in or, or putting it back up to what it what the number was when we froze it, we'll have the game just not take health off at all. So what we're going to do is activate this. this is just kind of an easier way to get the address. You can see our health right there. I'm going to add an address manually because we need to get this address, but you can't just go in and copy and paste because we're using our symbol. So I'm going to add an address manually. Yeah, there we go. And then write in the address right here for our health. And we'll just write health in right there. Let me put this up to 400 just to make sure. Yeah, that's the right one. All right. So in order to get it infinite, what we're going to do is right click and find out what writes to this address we want to go get hurt and then see if anything pops up here um, that we can like saying minus off that the health so let's go get hurt alright look at that okay so it's subtracting EAX from this number and this is actually our health value EDX and that offset 3D8 so that's a good sign we'll we already stopped that we'll go into the disassembler and view this thing in the disassembler and then right click find out what addresses this instruction accesses so right now we're just checking to see if this is actually the the, the address we want um, if we go and attack enemies, there's way to, ways to uh, to fix that. But as you can see, only our health has showed up so far. This guy's attacking people, and only our health showed up so far. Let's see if we can get one of them to attack him. Come on. Oh. Anyway, it looks like it's just our health in that instruction. So... We can close out of this. We know this is a good one, so we will auto assemble and then press Control Shift and A to autofill like with a template. And yeah, keep that uh, address the same. We'll just write in health. Wait for it to load. Then we can close out of this and close out of that. All right. So I'm just going to copy this code over to New Men. And there's two ways of doing this from here. Um, I'm going to show you the hard way first, and then I'll show you the easy way. This way is a little, a little more customizable, but... So we're going to add a new line above the subtract right here. Because we know this is our health value, and this is the damage that we took being subtracted from our health value. So what we can do is we can move into EAX a value of uh, zero and then we don't need to register any symbols or anything like that just that let's see if that does what we want right, this is our script let me just change this to infinite health and turn that on Let's see, once we respawn. Oh. Oh, I fell. Well, I mean, there you go. We should have taken 900 damage, and yet we're still alive. Let me turn this off and get back up to the top. I don't have any way to get back up there. Oh. There we go. So we know the script works. All we're doing is writing in zero into the amount of damage we've taken that's being subtracted from our health. So every time we take damage, it's going to take that... Every time we take damage, it's going to write it into EAX, write that damage, and then we are injecting this, so we're going to move a value of zero into EAX, and then that is being subtracted from our health. 
So every time we take damage, it's just going to be zero. Here, let's get this guy. Ooh, there he goes. All right. Let's see if we can find someone else. There we go. All right. See, so, yeah, look, our health is not decreasing at all, which is exactly what we want. And let's see. I mean, we're not doing a lot of damage, but we can see he's, he's still taking health. The enemy is. And, you know, you can do the same kind of script with uh, the enemies. So whenever they take damage, they take, you know, 100 million or whatever. Something like that. So another way of doing this is we'll just uh, copy and paste. And we'll write number infinite health 2. Turn this one off. And then in here, what we can do is get rid of... All of this. We don't need that label anymore. I'm not sure if we need to allocate memory. I don't think we do. Uh, we'll keep it anyway. Let's get back that new mem right there. We'll just use that. That's fine. And we don't need code. Do we need return? Uh, we do need return. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll just do this. So you take this down at the bottom where it says disable. This is just writing the script back to what it should be, or writing the uh, instructions back to what it should be. This is this right here is the same thing as this. And what we could do instead is replace all of these with the number 90, which is the code for, which is code for nopping out the instruction. Hopefully this works and doesn't crash. We will see. What this is going to do is it's going to, instead of doing this instruction, instead of doing that subtract the damage from our health, it's just going to completely skip over it. We're just overwriting it and making it do nothing. That's what this is supposed to do. Let's see if we crash, huh? Oh, we did crash. All right. So I think I figured out what the problem was. Um, I have way too much stuff in here. What we're, what we're going to do is get rid of all of this. I'm pretty sure uh, we don't need to allocate memory. What we're gonna do is just put this right in here. Health right there. Oh, you know what? We might need return. I'm gonna write that back in. Return. Because we need to register this symbol. Register symbol. Health. And we don't need to deallocate anything. We're not allocating any memory here. All right, so just the name of the script right there, knopping out all the values, registering the symbol, and then when you disable, puts it back and unregisters it. Okay. That hopefully should work. Let me reattach this. All right. Here we go. Let's see. It might crash again, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we crash again. No crash this time. All right. Look at that. We're not taking any damage at all. It's just completely ignoring. Completely ignoring that number. Let's get down here. Let's see if I can just... I can't keep myself in the corner. But yeah, that's the second way. And that's probably the easiest way. I mean, besides having to figure out what the script needs to be so you don't crash. So it looks just like that. 
You really don't even need any of this stuff. I like to keep it just so I can find out where I was before how I found this code. But I'm going to delete this just to make it look a little neater. Don't need any of that. Delete that. And then this is this is really it. This is real simple. Really easy. You don't need this either. There we go. So that's our second infinite health script cheat. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to try to get more of these videos out. I know it's been a while since my first one. Um, I'm thinking next I might work on an item hover script so you can change uh, your inventory and stuff like that.